Moving on to the fifth question. Given that secant theta is equal to 13 by 12, calculate all other trigonometric ratios. Now moving on to the solution. He has given that secant theta is equal to 13 by 12. So let us consider a right angle triangle in which theta is the base angle and let us designate the sides as x, y and let hypotenuse be z. Now we know that secant of an angle is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side. Here the hypotenuse is nothing but z and the adjacent side of angle theta is y here. Now this can be got equated to secant theta but he gave the secant theta value as 13 by 12. Therefore as z by y is equal to 13 by 12 let us assume that z is equal to 13 and y is equal to 12 in the simplest form. Now in order to find all other trigonometric values or trigonometric ratios we need to find the other side that is x. Now by applying the Pythagoras theorem to the triangle we get z square that is hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of other two sides that is x square plus y square which implies z square here is 13 square which is nothing but 169 that is equal to x square plus y square which is nothing but 12 square that is 144 which implies x square is equal to 169 minus 144 that is nothing but 25 as x square is equal to 25 we get x is equal to root of 25 which is nothing but 5 so we got the values of x that is equal to 5 and y which is equal to 12 and z is equal to 13. Let us find the all other trigonometric ratios. First of all coming to the trigonometric ratio that is sin theta which is equal to we know that sin of an angle is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse here it is opposite side is x by hypotenuse is z which is equal to x is 5 and z is 13 and cos theta is equal to we know that cos of an angle is nothing but its adjacent side by hypotenuse here the adjacent side is y and the hypotenuse is z which is equal to y is 12 and z is 13 and let us also find the tan theta value which is equal to we know that tan of an angle is equal to its opposite side by adjacent side here the opposite side is x and adjacent side is y which is equal to x is 5 and y is 12 now let us also find the value of cot theta which is equal to we know that cot of an angle is equal to its adjacent side by opposite side adjacent side here is x adjacent side here is y and the opposite side here is x which will be equal to the y is 12 and x is 5 and also let us find the value of cosecant theta which is nothing but the inverse of sine theta therefore cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sine theta which is equal to 1 by sine theta value is 5 by 13 so 1 by 5 by 13 is 13 by 5 